I myself have donated a trowel. You to... haven't. I have, honestly, Rob. <laughs> I donated a trowel. What the is this <laughs> <laughs> so today, Blake, I've got two choices for you. We'll do one today, one tomorrow. Are we doing Lee Mack or are we doing David Mitchell? That is certainly easier than 12 choices. <laughs> yeah, none of this d d d crap. <laughs> Let's go with Lee Mack. Lee Mack, Lee Mack, all right. A lot of people have been suggesting this video. So this is Lee Mack. On Would I Lie to You, did Lee Mack donate an unusual item to the British... Hang on. <laughs> it goes to the next page. To the British Lawnmower Museum. <laughs> Lee. Possession. <laughs> right, there's a box under the desk, Lee. Uh, now, I'd like you to take the item out of the box and hold the object. Then read the card out, please. This is my dibber. I donated it to the British Lawnmower Museum, where it is now a permanent exhibit. <laughs> Right. Uh, David, what is a dibber? What's a dibber? Yeah. Good uh, question. A dibber? That's a good question, David. <laughs> and would you believe me if I was to say I don't know? But it's a... It's a... Go <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> I'll buy it for you. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could be any of these. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> It's, 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 it's to do with gardening. <laughs> so what does your dibber do? Pardon? What does your dibber do? Are you, are you Fred Flintstone? <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question, what does your dibber do? Um, <laughs> not 100% sure, but I guess I would say that a dibber is for pushing holes in the, in the ground... Yeah. ..popping something in there, like a seed. How did your dibber come yeah. to be in the British Lawnmower Museum? Um, I'll tell you, Inspector Morse. <laughs> have you ever been to Southport, my hometown? Uh, I have, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start again? <laughs> yes. Right. I have never been to the British Lawnmower <laughs> Museum. I was online. But it is in Southport. It is in Southport, yeah. that's true. And I did see it online. What did you put into Google that that came up? Uh, well, you don't want to know that. <laughs> but I noticed that on the website there was a bit that said that the, the tools of the rich and famous. Famous tools, that's what I typed in. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually, I do know for a fact that there is a British Lawnmower Museum because I myself have donated a trowel. You to... haven't. I have, honestly, what? Rob. I donated a trowel. What the is British this? <laughs> <laughs> Surely they want a lawnmower. <laughs> so you saw the lawnmower museum online. Online. With a list of celebrity artefacts. There was quite a few. There was the Brian May um, from Queen had given a lawnmower. Joe Pasquale had given a strimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happened then? I thought that'd be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? Because my hometown. Sorry. Style, you, um, you decide. You saw that and you thought, I, 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 like I want a piece of that. I want a piece of the action. If Prince Charles, <laughs> he gave something. This what? is where the story is falling apart. Because one is no, asked... that's not where the story is falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> <laughs> one is asked to donate to you. Don't. I wanted to donate something. I thought it'd be quite nice to have something of mine because it's my hometown. So you picked up the phone. I picked up the. phone. <laughs> You're still doubting my abilities, are you, Dave? It's not. <laughs> Not your ability to make a phone call. Who made the take... phone? <laughs> I went, are you, I are you the... seriously saying that the fact that you could have physically made this phone call means I should believe that you did? <laughs> I picked up you the say, phone. look, I could have made the call, I'm physically capable, therefore it happened, David. End of story. I picked up the phone, I phoned them up, I said, I'd like to donate something. They said, What have you got? I said, uh, Dibba. <laughs> you knew its name. Well, actually, I, I yes. You knew its name, but you didn't know what it was for. That's actually not true. I okay. said... So what did you say? I took advice before the phone call. From whom? From who? From whom? I'm not doing it if you put an M at the end. All right. From who? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who's putting the M at the end? Do you know what I mean? No one yeah. anymore. Who no did one. you take advice from? <laughs> I shall you tell you. Got, you found a thing in the yeah. shed. You didn't know you owned it. You didn't yes. know what it was. Who did you ask about it? You want to know from who? I want to... I want to know who you are <laughs> about that object in order to find out what it was called. I shall tell you. Well, please. David... David Tennant, or as I call him, Doctor Who. You ask... <laughs> you ask Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who. No. <laughs> who did you ask? Tom Baker. 
<laughs> there are seven billion humans on Earth. Please, let's not eliminate them one by one. <laughs> I, I, I asked my wife. So, David, what do you think? Is Lee telling the truth or is he lying to us? Dale? All right, I got a couple of thoughts, but what are you, what are you leaning towards? Just one I want to get out there. Were, were you as confused as I was when they were rattling off those different like, things? Yeah, well, that's how I say it. <laughs> Riddling off uh, which different things? You know, they were saying like a, a flipper and a, and, a, and a doodad, like, you know, all these random names. I was like, I don't know what any of those are. <laughs> I'm in two different frames of mind about this. There was one part of me that was thinking this is definitely like a classic Lee Mac made up story where he's just throwing jokes and confusion at them to kind of like get them off the trail of the actual device yeah. itself. Classic, classic Lee Mac yeah. moves. But then the other guy from the other team said that it's a real place that really does those <laughs> things. Like, and that I'm like, what? like that was the bit I thought was the most like uh, unbelievable part of it that there is actually a museum that does that so now I'm looking at it through the lens of it is a true story and Lee Mack is throwing out all this stuff to, to throw them off what it could be like uh, throw them off the scent that it actually is a true story so I don't really believe it but I'm going to go true interesting hmm. Hmm. alright well if you say true I'll say liar and we'll find out I don't believe a word of it <laughs> If it is true, yeah. it's one of the best acting performances I think I've ever seen. Thank if, you. You've got, if it's true. If it's true. Do you think, you think it's true? No, I do not. No, it's, yeah. no, it's a lie. Okay, David, no, what are you going to say? We think it's a lie. You think it's a lie. Okay, uh, Lee, truth or lie? <laughs> it is, in fact. <laughs> true. Oh, it is true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That smirk that he had at the end um, <laughs> when the guy said it's like the best acting performance, I was like, oh, it must be true now. <laughs> yeah, because also when he was guessing, he was like, oh, it might be something that you plant seeds. And that's what I originally thought it may be. I'm like, it's some kind of like thing. It's not to fix a divot for golf, but it like it looks kind of like a weird injector into the ground thing. So seeds made sense to me. Yeah, I had no idea. I was thinking something along the lines of like sprinklers or something, but completely wrong. Yeah, um, who knows? I've never seen it before, and I'll probably no. never see one again. I, I just don't understand how he's still got it if it's meant to be in a museum. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <Anyways. laughs> if you I said guess that, it was if, true. <laughs> if you said that earlier, I would have been like, oh, 100%, that's a lie then, because that makes no sense. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say it. You got the win. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. What did you guys think of that video? Please let us know in the comments. And if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and get notified for more content. And if you want to see more Would I Lie To You reactions, particularly Lee Mack ones, we've got plenty of them now on that playlist just up there. And also, have you guys found little Alex Horn lately? He's <laughs> He still floats around. He's in every single video. We don't mention it that often, but he's there somewhere for you guys to spot. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.